today because we serve a great God, a wonderful God, a magnificent God. Amen? Amen. The, the one that spoke to the world and said, uh-huh. folks said, let there be light. There was light. Amen. We happen to be, uh, to have y'all tuning in with us today. This is the Lord's day. This is the day that we should praise him. Amen. 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 We thank God for it. We want to give a shout out to our church up there in New York. Sister Davis and congregation up there, we want to let you know that we love y'all and we are praying for y'all just like y'all are praying for us. And we as a nation here today, I like to say this before we get started, all of us need to pray for the West Coast. All those forest fires and things out there. That's right. And pray for the, uh, the Gulf, down in the Gulf of Mexico where these tornadoes are coming, uh, these hurricanes are coming. God can change these things around. That's right. That's why he's a great God. Amen? Amen. Amen. At this time, we're going to uh, have Ella Lowe come, and he's going to uh, open with a prayer. All right? Amen. Ella Lowe. Good morning, Sweet Haven. Praise his mighty name. Let us bow our heads. Heavenly Father, we come this morning before the throne of grace, O God, to give you glory, honor, and praise. We thank you for your many blessings upon our lives, O God, this morning, O God. We ask you, O Heavenly Father, to continue to look upon us, O God, and lead us and guide us, O God. We thank you, Lord God, for your many blessings, O Heavenly Father. Now, O God, we ask you, O God, to look upon this service this morning, O Heavenly Father. Bless Sweet Haven, O Heavenly Father. Bless the man of God as he bring forth the word of God this morning, O God. Anoint him afresh, O Heavenly Father, to give us a word from on high, O Heavenly Father, that you may receive all the glory, honor, and praise. Father, we thank you for Lord Jesus dying upon the cross at Calvary for our sins, O oh, Heavenly Father. We ask you, O oh God, to continue to guide us. Touch those that are sick this morning, O oh, Heavenly Father. O oh, God, move in a mighty way, O oh, Heavenly Father, upon their lives, O oh, God. O oh, God, keep that virus away from us, O oh, Heavenly Father, this week, O oh, Heavenly Father, as we go about our days, O oh, God. O oh, God, and continue to bless us, O oh, Heavenly Father. Bless us and anoint us, O oh, God, and we'll be careful to give you all praise, all glory, and all honor. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Praise him, 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 Jesus, Jesus, blessed Savior, he worthy to be. Till the glory now the 
to be praised. Amen. And we just sang that other song because he deserves all the glory. All the honor belongs to God. And that's, what, that's the only way we're going to get over our trouble, that we praise the Lord. We're going to have to praise him. I don't care what come in your life. You may be going through some trials today, but if you get a praise in your heart, and those trials will be easy for you to go through. Sometimes the Lord just wants to test us and see what we're going to do. Amen? That's what we were studying in our Bible study last week, that the Lord was testing the children of Israel. That sometimes he wants to test us and see what we're going to do. You, you may say that, Brother Matthew, said, you don't know what I'm going through. It's nothing too hard for God. Nothing too hard for God. All of us, all of us go through something, but nothing is too hard for God. He can heal. He can save. He can stop those forest fires out there in California. He can stop those, that, that hurricane coming up in the Gulf Coast. God can do anything but fail. Anything. I trust him today. I don't know about you, but I'm going to trust him. Because I, I'm not going to doubt him. Because I know too much about him. He's been good, too good to me. He's been good to me. Amen? Amen. Blow your horn one time. You want to praise the Lord? Let, let us know. Yeah, Praise the Lord. Praise him. Praise him. We're going to hear from this uh, choir again. Get with them. See, we're not coming today to entertain you. We, we're not entertaining you today. We want to get you to have a worshiper experience today. We want you to feel the presence of God. Amen. My hallelujah belongs to you. All right. My hallelujah belongs to you. My hallelujah belongs to you. My hallelujah belongs. To you, you deserve it. You deserve it. You deserve it. You deserve it. My hallelujah, sing my hallelujah belongs to you. My hallelujah belongs to you. My hallelujah. My hallelujah belongs to you. My hallelujah. My hallelujah belongs to you. You deserve. You deserve.
I came to tell you what Jesus said. I came to tell somebody what Jesus said. He said, from your sins and be baptized. He said, from your sins and be baptized. Whoa, I came to tell you what Jesus said. I came to tell you what Jesus said. Oh, I came. Tell somebody. been baptized, uh, my soul's been converted, uh, and I feel all right. Uh, I stepped in the water, uh, I stepped in the water, uh, I stepped in the water, uh, way down yeah. in that water, uh, way down in that water. Uh, Anybody been to the river? Uh, Anybody been baptized? Uh, my soul got converted, uh, everything's all right, uh, everything's all right. Uh, Every, 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 uh, hey, 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 uh, 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 I 
amazing grace, uh, how sweet it sounds, uh, that saved a wretch, uh, a wretch like me. Uh, anybody here been lost? Uh, anybody here been lost? Uh, anybody here been lost? Uh, when Jesus found you, uh, and I'm free at last. Uh, I'm free at last. Uh, I'm free at last. Uh, yeah, hey, yeah, hey. Uh, Well, when I went down in that water early one Sunday morning, uh, went down in that water, something uh, was in that water, something uh, was in that water. Uh, Jesus was right there, uh, let me in the water, let uh, me in the water. Uh, oh, yeah, uh, oh, yeah, uh, oh. I came oh, to tell you what Jesus said. I came to tell you what Jesus said. Oh, I came to tell somebody what Jesus said. He said, Be of your sins and be baptized. He said, Be of your sins and be baptized. All right, yeah. I stepped in the water, uh -huh. and the water was cold. Uh -huh. It chilled my body, uh -huh. but not my soul. Uh -huh. If you don't believe, uh -huh. I've been redeemed. Uh -huh. Follow me down uh -huh. to the Jordan stream. Uh -huh. I said the Jordan River, uh -huh. it is chilly cold. Uh -huh. It chilled my body, uh -huh. but not my soul. Uh -huh. I stepped in the water. Uh -huh. I stepped in the water, uh -huh. I stepped in yeah. the water, uh -huh. way down in that water, uh -huh. way down in that water, uh -huh. way down in that water. Uh -huh. If you don't believe, uh -huh. I've been redeemed, uh -huh. follow me down uh -huh. to the Jordan stream. Uh -huh. Woo! Amen. Oh, yeah, yeah, I came yeah. to tell you. What I came to tell you what Jesus said. Oh, I came to tell somebody what Jesus said. Repent of your sins and be baptized. baptized. Amen. Yeah. Praise the Lord. What he said. Praise the Lord. Oh, oh, Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Everybody. Yes, Thank Amen. you, Lord. Yeah. Yes, Amen. Glory. Amen. Hallelujah. Bless the name of God. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Glory. Amen. 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 We come to tell you what Jesus said. Amen. 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 I don't know if you didn't feel this, if you didn't feel the outpouring of the Holy Ghost, then there's something wrong with you. But he was here. He's still here. Amen. Get his choir hand a praise. Give my hand a praise. Blow your horn. Amen. 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 Now, if you believe Jesus deserves all the glory, let's hear it on your horn today. Amen. Amen. He deserves all the glory. All the honor belongs to him. Amen. Amen. If if you if you all out there on the internet could see what's going on in this parking lot, y'all would jump up and shout too. People got out of their cars, praising the Lord. Because, the, because we come to tell you. What Jesus said. Not what we said, but what Jesus said. Amen. Amen. We love you today. We glorify, we magnify his name. Some of them still praising the Lord. Some of them still shouting. For the Lord is here. He's here. He's here. He's here. He's here. He's here. He's here. Right now. Amen. 
Amen. Amen. It, 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 you know, it was a, it was a story. It was a story in the Bible, where, where they, at one time of the year, the angel used to come down and and stir the water, and whoever get in the water would get first would get healed. Now, what you got to do now? You got to get in the water. The Lord is here. He wants to heal somebody. He wants to save some of your children. He wants to save your husband. He wants to save your wife. All you got to do is get in the water. Get in the praise. God wants to bless somebody today. God wants to bless somebody today. You can be healed today. You can be healed today. All you got to do is trust God. Get in the water. Get in the praise of the Lord. Thank him. Thank him for that sickness. Thank him that he trusts you, you with it. Thank you for thank him for saving your son. Thank him today. I thank him today. He deserves all the glory. All the honor belongs to God. Thank him today. Thank you today. Amen. Amen. Man, I feel the presence of the Lord. He's here. I feel him. He's here. And it's not all about feeling all the time. We got to know that he's there. He said, I'm going to be with you until the ends of the world. Thank you, the Lord. Thank you. Glory to your name, Lord. Glory to your name. Butch, I'm talking to my brother-in-law. God can heal you. God wants to heal you. All you got to do is scratch out on him. Believe him. Do it now in the name of Jesus. God, we love you today. We thank you. We're going to have a... We thank God for it today. We get ready to hear the word of God from, the, from a man of God. We're going to hear a word from our assistant pastor, Ella Lillard Johnson. As she come, I want y'all to just blow your horns and reverence the man of God. Amen. Ella Johnson. Let us say amen. Let us say amen. Let us bow our heads. Dear Lord, we thank you for this day we've never seen before. God, we thank you for everything that has been said and done. Lord, we thank you for our pastor and bishop, our first lady, chairman of our deacon board. We thank you for everybody that's here this morning, God. We ask you to move self all the way and bring forth the word this morning, God. Without you, we are nothing. God, we, we, we can't breathe. We can't live, Lord. But we thank you, Lord, for just being God. Beside you, there is no other God. Lord, bless us in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. And this is our prayer we pray. Amen. 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 We thank the Lord for just being here. You know, it's a little different on the outside, but we are amongst the, the saints and the members of Sweet Haven Holy 
Church of God and all our visitors. Lord, we thank Lord for just being here. <clears throat> we thank God for just can I bring it up a little bit. We thank God for just being God. You know we you know we go through our daily occupations, we go through our daily situations, but Lord, we thank you for just being God. Oftentimes I say, if it had not been for the Lord on my side, where would I be today? Then I come back and say, them twins, grace and mercy. Huh? When we think we can't make it, when we think we can't go through, grace and mercy is right there beside us. Huh? We just thank God uh, for the Lord just blessing us. Amen. Uh, I will trust in the Lord. I will trust in the Lord. I will trust in the Lord till I die, die. I will trust in the Lord. I will trust in the Lord. I Trust in the Lord till I die. <laughs> Amen. <coughs> we won't be before you very long. We should be finished by two or three o'clock. Coming from Daniel's the third chapter, and starting at the twentieth verse down to the twenty-fifth verse. <coughs> and it reads as so. <clears throat> and he commanded the most mighty men that were in the army to bind Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and cast them into the fiery furnace. Then these men were bound with their coats, their hoses, and their hats, and all other garments, and were cast into the midst of the burning fire furnace. Therefore, because the king commanded was urgent. <coughs> the furnace exceeded a flame of fire, slew men that took the three Hebrew boys. And these three men, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, fell down, bound into the midst of the burning fiery furnace. <coughs> Then Nebuchadnezzar, the king, was astonished, rose up in haste, and spake and said unto the counselors, Did not we cast three men bound into the midst of the fire? They answered, Say, O king, this is true. And he answered, said, Lo, I see four men loose, walking in the midst of the fire, and they have no hurt. And the form of the fourth <coughs> is like the Son of God. For a short while, we are talking about, I went in the fire. 
But when I came out, I didn't even smell like smoke. I went in the fire, but when I came out, I didn't even smell like smoke. You know, we go in the fire. We go in the fire every day. We go in the fire when on our jobs and we go to fire sometime when people don't like us. <clears throat> but sometimes we have to realize <coughs> that we're in the fire. God is with us. We have to realize that being in the fire makes us better Christians. We have to realize that <clears throat> being in the fire, we have something to look forward to. Sometimes we get in the fire, we don't know how things is going to turn out. <coughs> we don't know what the outcome is going to be. Sometimes in our daily life, we feel like giving up. Say it's not going to happen. This one thing happened. Then something else happened. Seemed like we never get ahead. Seemed like all oh, hope is gone. But we're in the fire. But as long as we're in the fire, God is with us. Yeah, we, 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 we feel like giving up sometimes, and we feel like I'm not going to church today. I don't, I don't want to be saved no more. Feel like that thing just not working out for me. You get one thing right, and something else go wrong. You get the how straight something else go wrong. I don't want to be saved no more. I don't want, I just will go ahead back out in the world. I just will go back and do the things that I used to do. But you're in the fire. <laughs> as long as you're in the fire, God is in there with you. You don't have to worry how to rent, how to mortgage, how the light pay, how the insurance going to be paid. Because you're in the fire. The Hebrew boy was in the fire. <laughs> but God was in there with him. He said we put three years. But I see four in there. Our everyday lives. I don't want to do this no more. I don't want to do that no more. I'm not going to work no more. I just can't get a raise. I can't get a promotion. I'm sick and tired of the people worrying me to death. But then you turn around and you look. Back over your life and see what God has brought you from. You look back when you didn't have nothing. You look back when you had the drug problem. You look back when you had the alcohol problem. 
Where do I turn to? I don't have nobody to turn to. The man told me the other day, he said, man, I don't have no family. He said, I'm all by myself. I said, you know, in our church, we sang a song, what a friend we have in Jesus. Sometimes we take our eyes off the pride. Sometimes we take our eyes off of God. Sometimes we try to do it ourselves. But God don't want to do that. He don't want us to try to do it ourselves. I'm in the fire. I know if I stay in the fire, when I come out, I'm not even going to smell like smoke. Fire is a terrible thing. See, the people in California and in the West Coast, they said the fire is raging. And, and, and because the fire said so, it was so hot, said that the, the, the lightning started the fire, the forest fire. But the only thing they got to do, somebody needs to say, Lord, send the rain. See, they looking at the they looking at the fire. They looking at the fire destroying the home, destroying the cars, destroying the people. But only thing somebody got to do is say, God, I know you can send the rain. God, I know that if we call on your name, you'll hear our prayer. Oh, Lord, they keep on blessing me. When things get rough, he keep on blessing me. When I don't do everything that I'm supposed to do, he keep on blessing me. When I don't walk the straight and narrow, he keep on blessing me. When that urge and that heaven come back, he keep on blessing me. But when I look back over my life and see the dump I was in, when I look back over my life and see the fire was down in the hole, when I couldn't get up, God had to make me dirty. So I could get clean. Uh -huh. God had to make me weak. Uh -huh. So I could get strong. Because uh -huh. I was in the fire. But I know that one day. Uh -huh, if I kept on praying. Uh -huh, if I kept on weeping. Uh -huh, I know the Lord. Uh -huh, would make a way. Uh -huh. Out of no way. Uh -huh. He keep on blessing me. Can you shout yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. David said, I look to the hills uh, from which come my help. My, 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 my help uh, coming from the Lord, uh, which made heaven and earth. Can you shout, yeah, uh, the Lord is on my side. Uh, the Lord is always with me. Lord, I'm with you always, uh, even until the end of the world. Uh, I was in the fire. I didn't know what had happened. I was in the fire. And I came out, but I didn't smell like smoke. Could nobody tell that where I came from, back there, when I was on the drugs, when I was on that alcohol, they couldn't tell. But I came out, they said, what's wrong with you? You done had surgery on your head. You done had surgery on your heart. You done had surgery on your knees. But I was in the fire, but I came out, but I didn't smell like smoke. I didn't smell like smoke, because the Lord is on my side. The Lord is right there for me. When I pray every night, when I pray every day, God is right there. Can you shout, yeah, the Lord, he keep on blessing me. That's right. That's right. That's right. He keep on blessing. 
You keep on blessing. Keep on. You keep on blessing. That's why I sing this song, Jesus is Love. I was looking the other night. I saw this one star shining real bright. And the song came to me, Jesus is Love. When he said, I want to follow your star. Wherever you leave me, I don't mind, Lord. I hope you don't mind. I want to walk with you, talk with you, do all the things you want me to do. Because I know that Jesus I'd love and I show He'll pick you up Jesus when you down He'll help you hold out Jesus Oh yeah Yeah. He'll heal your body when you sick. If you help your whole out. Oh yeah. Woo. Yeah. Jesus. Oh, 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 Jesus. He loves us. He loves us. <clears throat> he don't want our money. He don't want our cars. He don't want our homes, our, our mean, hard head children. Only thing he wants is our praises. That's all he wants. God is right there. He's right there in our bodies. I was thinking. I told my wife this morning when she came home, she said, from work, I said, baby, I said, I've been having headaches. She said, well, maybe you don't need to preach today. I told her, maybe I need to preach today. See, because God brought me from a mighty long ways, y'all. He brought me. I'm talking about me. I don't know but you. Y'all can sit in your cars. But, but if, you, if God had brought you from where he brought me from, somebody would get out the car and just shout hallelujah. Somebody get out the car and say, Lord, I didn't know how I could make it without you. Lord, I'm here. I love you. Every day I feel like giving up. Sometimes I don't want to live. Hallelujah. I told her, I told her I got to preach. I told the Lord, I said, I got to preach. I said, God, where you brought me from? When I was laying in the bed and couldn't turn over. When I was laying in the bed, I couldn't eat. Had to lay on my back seven days looking at the ceiling. 
because the blood was draining out of my brain. If God take me, he take me. I'm going to live for him. I'm going to live for God. That's why I say I was in the fire. When I came out, I didn't smell like smoke. Because God is right there. I pray for my oldest son. I tell him every time, I say, Leo, you need God in your life totally. I never lost a child. I never lost one of my children. I don't know how I'd feel. But I know that one thing. God is right there to comfort me. God is right there. I was in the fire. But when I came out, I didn't even smell like smoke. Pray my strength in the Lord that God continue to bless us. Yeah, just one one from the Lord. Yeah, just what I wanted. Yeah, just what I wanted. Yeah, just what I wanted from the Lord. Amen. How many enjoyed that message today? Amen. How many have been in the fire? How many have been in the fire? And the Lord was right there with you. Amen. You don't look like what you've been through. None of us look like what we've been through. Amen. And, 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 and the scriptures tell us that those people that threw the Hebrew boys in the, in the furnace, said while they were throwing them in them, said they burn up. The only thing burned on the on the uh, the Hebrew boys was the was the, the the ropes that were bound binding them up. They burned the ropes up. They didn't touch them. They couldn't even want now. Won't now a hair on their head singe. You in the fire today. If you in the fire, your Lord is in there with you. All you got to do is, is, is reach out to him. He can protect you. Like we say, he said, I'm with you. Even until the end of the world. Amen? Amen. All you got to do is put your trust in the Lord. Amen. All of us go through something. Ain't nobody that don't go through anything. Amen. So at this time we're gonna have we're gonna have another selection from this choir. And we're gonna get that offering, amen. The deacons are coming and they're gonna get your offering uh, uh, right now, amen. Give generous from your heart, amen. Together, 
taken together, running over. Somebody shout glory. glory. Put your hand out the window and just give God a hand wave. Yeah. Thank you all so much for coming out today. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much for coming out today. Is it 12 o'clock yet? Uh, I got to talk at least to 12. Is it not 12 yet? I got three minutes. Amen. Well, first of all, I want to say on this coming Thursday night, this coming Thursday night at 7 o'clock, I saw some of you all last Thursday on uh, Zoom. You came to Bible study, and we're asking if you would please come back again on this Thursday evening at 7 p.m., and we ask that you invite one person along with you to Zoom in on us, our Bible study. Amen. On this coming Thursday night, Ella Alford, all the way from South Carolina, will be our speaker. Right. Elder Alford, amen, all the way from South Carolina, will be with us, teaching us uh, through the way of Zoom. Now, we need you all, we need to at least have 100 people on Thursday night, amen. Why? Because Ella Lowe is going to be speaking, amen. Not only Ella Lowe, amen, Ella Butler is going to be speaking, amen. So you all need to come and be a part of our Bible study every Thursday night at 7 p.m., amen. And the Lord will bless you. Please, ma'am, please, sir, let us try and be obedient to the word of God. Yeah. Uh, one of the things that I learned last week from the Bible study that I thought that Moses had only given the people at the in the wilderness one time uh, out of the rock, but it seems that uh, Deacon Matthew straightened me out this morning to let me know that he got water out of the rock twice. I don't know if y'all knew that or not. One time he struck he struck the what the rock, and the last time no the first time God told him to speak to the rock. That's what it was. No, I'm getting it mixed up. The first time he struck the rock. And then the second time when God, when the people stopped remembering, you can't do this, pass it, pass it, pass it, pass it. Amen. And pass sometimes get frustrated. Amen. But in the midst of frustration, Moses went and struck the rock twice, the Bible said. I read it this morning. And water came out. It gushed out. or It came out abundantly. 
some of the things you may think is not important, but it's important because my dad told me one time uh, in, in sermon was that he struck the rock one time and the water just came out. And I always just believe that. So that's why you have to study to show yourselves approved. So how many times did he strike the rock? How many times did he speak to it? How many times did he speak to it? Uh-huh. Gotcha, didn't it? He didn't speak to it. <laughs> he struck the rock. Amen. Out of frustration. And that's what happens when you do stuff out of frustrations. When you get angry with your husband, when you get angry with your wife, you do stuff out of frustration and you hurt people. But you know what? When you go through the fire, when you go through something, amen, you come out. And you don't have to smell like smoke. Smoke represents you don't, you're not exemplifying that person that you were. People look at you when you used to do the drugs. But now when they see you, they don't smell no drugs on you. Y'all understand? That, that, you know how sometimes when people drink, it smells like the drink, the alcohol is coming out of their skin when you get around them. But even though they drank a lot, when you get saved, God takes that smell away from you. You look like a whole different person. Why? Because God has cleaned you up. Clean me up, Lord. Let me start my life over again. Don't forget, don't forget, if you need free testing for COVID-19, Sister Sharon Johnson has a place where you can go for free. Amen. And you can go and be tested if you want to be tested. We ask God to continue to bless us and protect us from COVID-19. We can't take it, y'all, lightly. This stuff is a killer. Y'all hear me? And you have to continue to wear your mask, wash your hands, keep your distance, and pray. And put it in right order. Pray and then do all the rest of the stuff. <laughs> Come on, shout glory to somebody with your horn. Shout your horn. Da, 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 da. Okay, my time is up. My time is up. Don't forget, Bible study, 7 o'clock on Thursday evening. I want to see everybody joining in, joining in, joining in. How many got the number already? Okay, most of us got the number. Amen. Kevin, if you're at work, tune in on your phone. Tune in on your phone. Y'all do everything else. I'm not Kevin, but most folks do everything they want to do. They go anywhere they want. You can go to China on your phone. Amen. Come on, come to Sweet Haven Thursday night, 7 p.m. Amen. I want everybody now, if you just get out of your car, just where you are. Don't get, don't be hugging folks. Just get out of your car. Stretch a little bit. I'm going to pray a prayer over you. Okay, can y'all do that for me? You don't have to get close. Just stand close to your car. I want to see y'all. I want to see what you got on. Uh-huh. Somebody said, well, Bishop, I got my bathing suit on. Well, you, you stay in the car if you got your bathing suit on. Uh, oh, oh, oh. You That's right. Done. Good to see you. I want to see who's here. Okay, there's shh, real soft. There's somebody real in the corner I can see. That looks like Jeannie. Mm -hmm. Sister Gloria Gibbs, mm -hmm. amen, and her daughter. Mm -hmm. Amen. God bless you. Tell you, Naisha, I said hi. Amen. And we pray that God has continued to bless her to go through that. Now, we're going to pray. Everybody stand beside your cars. Okay, close your eyes. Close your eyes. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray for all the members of this church and for those who are not members of this church. We pray, God, that you continue to keep us from COVID-19. Lord, we pray now that we, you would bless the government. Don't let us get into no more walls right now, Lord. Help us, God. Choose the person that you most want to be the president of the United States. Save and sanctify us all. And forgive us all of our sins. In Jesus' mighty name. And I want everybody to put your hand up and say, Lord, Lord. cover us with your blood. Y'all look so beautiful. Just hug yourself. You can't hug nobody. Just hug yourself. God bless y'all. Get back in the cars. Thank you. God bless you. Thank y'all so much for coming. God bless you, Larry Wood. I'm praying for you. Whoa, I just want to thank you. I just want to praise, praise you forever, forever, and ever, and ever, ever. And y'all may go, y'all may for go. For all, for all, you've done, you've done, done for me. me. God bless you. Blessings and glory. Blessings and glory. Cheryl Chapman. Cheryl Chapman.